there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review, this Paniter Avatar UR Twin Tank Touchdown. This is my first fountain pen from Paniter and it was designed by the ever fascinating rock star of modern fountain pen design, Dante Del Vecchio. I had the pleasure of recording a co-interview with Dante on Yoast Applebaum's Applebaum Bites podcast this week. That podcast will air in the next few days. Dante was the founder of Visconti in 1988 and moved to Paniter as their chief designer in 2017. With Visconti, Dante designed such modern classics as the Divina, which incorporates the divine proportion or golden ratio, the Homo sapiens, made from Vesuvius lava rock, the Visconti opera, which incorporates the squared circle from da Vinci's The Vitruvian Man. And with Paniter, he's been even busier, if that's possible, creating the Paniter Avatar, which is made from UR, or unbreakable resin. You might recall seeing him put a Paniter Avatar together from 14 separate pieces with just his hands and a small hammer and no glue, before both Brian and Dante smack it with a hammer to show it's unbreakable. I'll link that video in the description below because it's not only fascinating, you'll also really enjoy Dante's marvelous personality. This new model Paniter Avatar is a dual reservoir vacuum filler that is made with the same unbreakable resin and has some really cool new features as well. Let's take a look right now. <music> We haven't had an unboxing video in a while. Recently, a new model has come out, uh, the Paniter Avatar UR Traveler. And I ordered the pen quite a while ago, but it's just arrived just in time for our interview with Dante next Tuesday. So I'm anxious to open this up. Uh, this is a sneak preview of the pen that I'm going to be talking about with Dante uh, next Tuesday. You probably won't see that for a couple of weeks. But the package has just arrived and I'm anxious to open it up. It is from DHL. Uh, Deutsche Highway Larceny is what I think DHL stands for. Uh, I paid the extortion fee so they would deliver it. And let's open it up. And here it is from my good friend Yoast Applebaum. A little bit of value added from DHL. Thank you guys. And here we go. Nice little note from Applebaum with a beautiful Mont Blanc. Ooh, that's the calligraphy. I did a review of that pen. It's gorgeous. And of course, the absolutely necessary Stroop Waffle and the beautifully wrapped, as always, package from Applebaum. And this is my first pen from Paniter. And it says Paniter Farenza 1774. They've been around for a while. In silver foil on the top of a white cardboard sleeve. Open up the sleeve. And presto, we have a unique box from Paniter. It's a faux leather. It's a greenish color, dark green. And it says Paniter Ferenza 1774 with Paniter's logo. And it is in a wedge shape. Okay, I'm assuming this flips up. And it does. Isn't that lovely? What a nice presentation. This is soft and padded. Very nice. And what else do we have here? We have an envelope from Paniter and fold it the avatar traveler twin tanks touchdown and we have italian and we have english okay so i'm going to read through the rest of that there's an international warranty there of course and it's warranted for two years and we have more here there's the pen tag might be a bookmark no it's the pen tag and i think we have some writing materials some envelopes and paper very nice and we have the pen in its faux leather very soft glove-like leather and here is the pen as you can see it's a beautiful blue transparent blue in the barrel and a lovely swirling blue acrylic on the cap and the paniter pivoting over the end of the cap clip and the clip is in the shape of a feather that's very nice. And there's a nice wide cap band that says Paniter made in Italy. 
and let's see magnetic closure and there is the nib a large m in the center radiating pattern and a black plastic feed and a nice acrylic section quite a bit of a step right there but there's no cap threads of course but the key to this pen is its filling system which works through this lock unlock mechanism down here but it is a bayonet turn to unlock and then you can withdraw the rod and there's the shut off right there and the next question i have how does it post well it posts very deeply indeed that cap is a little bit heavy so it does back weight it a bit but if you want to post this pen it is absolutely possible and if you write back here a little bit more it's actually not too badly balanced we shall ink this pen up with something i would guess that it's going to be blue but uh, we will put it through its paces and do a review so the first thing i want to do before i even ink this pen up is take it apart because of course that's how my mind runs uh, and before i take it apart i'm going to weigh it so that i'll know how much it weighs empty 21.5 and then once i filled it up we'll find out exactly how much ink this pen takes by weighing it again but now i want to take it apart so we're going to take off the cap i'm not going to disassemble this at all there's absolutely no need so now the first thing we can do is we can take the section off just unscrews and there we have metal threads against acrylic but you notice that the acrylic is kind of eased off in this pattern we've seen that elsewhere on the pen as well and i think that is to relieve the pressure of the threads the acrylic threads against the metal threads to keep that from splitting that's my guess anyway so i know that this nib unit unscrews from the section let's see if we can pull this nib as well yeah it pulls out very easily so there we have our nib i know these are bach nibs i believe that nib assembly is keyed yep there's the key right there so there's a little slot for that nib to go in that nib fits right in that little slot right there so it's precise we know we can unlock this to withdraw the that piston and at this point yeah you can hear that suction right there you could actually clean this fairly easily without any more disassembly but again inquiring minds want to know can this come apart like on my pen bbs 456 and the answer is yes it can and the way we do that is close it back up again but we're now we're going to wrap our matte material around the barrel and then a little bit of matte around the blind cap and we turn it this way to unlock that but we're going to turn it this way and we're just going to keep on turning by keeping that spring pressed in and we're going to twist we just keep that button pressed down as we turn and that should pull it right out now clever people Peniter they don't allow you to take that all the way out and now it's fairly easy to if you get any ink that goes past these threads you can get into this little silicone o-ring right here and add some grease to that add some grease to the piston to make the whole thing slide well and be leak proof so let's do that right now we're going to add a little bit of silicone grease this is silicone oil actually i add a little bit of silicone oil right on that gasket and those threads and then the reverse is true to reassemble it you just keep turning that cap and there we go and it's back together again and without disassembling the barrel you can add a little bit of silicone grease or oil to a cotton swab and just paint the inside a little bit with that oil or grease just on the inside where it widens out and then that piston will pick that grease up and distribute it across the barrel then we're going to take the nib and feed put them back together again hold on to both of them find where that key is by rotating it around it only fits in one way and there there it is and we just give that a little bit of a push make sure it's all the way down and we can put the unit back in the section just finger tight there we go 
I'm going to add a little bit of silicone oil just to that gasket right there. Again, we don't want any on the inside of that nozzle, just on the outside. And screw the barrel down back down onto the section. And we're good to go. I will show the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons, some measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. I was fascinated when Dante took a hammer to his unbreakable avatar fountain pen, but I never attempted to purchase one for two reasons. At $200 US, I found it a bit pricey for a plastic pen with a steel nib. Plus, it had a slick metal section. But when I saw the avatar in a double reservoir vacuum filler with the metal section replaced with resin and for the same price, I had to get one to compare with my other vacuum fillers. And because it's designed by Dante Del Vecchio and has some of his coolest innovations. He calls this a touchdown filler, which is a bit misleading and confusing. The touchdown filler was invented by Schaefer back in the 40s and it used a metal sleeve that slid over a metal tube that contained a latex sack. The downward pressure of pushing the sleeve over the tube caused the sack inside to compress. And when the pressure was released at the end of the travel of the sleeve, the ink sack drew up the ink as it reinflated. This isn't that. This is a twin tank vacuum filler similar to the Visconti Homo sapiens filling system, which they called a power filler, just to confuse things more. Overall, the pen is long and slim and looks and feels very much to me anyway like the Pilot Custom 74, especially when they're posted. From the top, we see the Peniter feather clip, which Dante says has no mechanism. His definition of mechanism must differ from mine, but it's very clever. The clip wraps over the top of the cap in a groove, pivoting on a tapering pin, and a cam on the clip engages with a horizontal spring inside as you move it. The arched feather is very elegant and the clip can be operated with one hand and opens wide enough to accommodate almost anything you want to clip it to. It actually opens to 6.5 millimeters. The cap tapers up slightly to a wide chrome cap band that has the skyline of Florence, Italy in relief along with the name Peniter and made in Italy. Peniter has been around as a stationary brand for almost 250 years and sold stationery and leather goods, but only recently began making writing instruments when Dante left Visconti in 2017. Visconti is the company he founded in 1988, and he's the lead writing expert for Peniter and develops all their writing instruments. There is a minuscule step down to the barrel, which is made of transparent, unbreakable resin, and tapers down to a round blind cap that has a lock and unlock symbol silk screened onto it and a dot for indicating the lock and unlock positions. A slight turn of the blind cap and it springs open and opens the valve to the large ink reservoir. Turn it again and it seals the ink in the smaller ink reservoir. Many people complain that it's a pain to screw and unscrew a blind cap of a vacuum filler when you want to write or stop writing. The spring-loaded bayonet cap takes those two seconds of tedium away and makes it almost as convenient as clicking a ballpoint. With the blind cap unlocked, you can slide the piston out for filling or emptying the pen. The cap is magnetic and will attach in any orientation. It actually becomes a bit of a fidget spinner, but try not to be annoying in the office. Stop it. The inside of the cap shows the magnetic ring right there in black and the silicone seal there at the bottom of the cap. The section is made of the same UR resin as the cap and is a barrel shape with a slight taper from 10.8 to 10.3 millimeters. So it's a nice girth. There are no cap threads, of course, but the steel ring atop the barrel makes for a good size step up. The edges are smooth, however, and there's no plating on this ring, which is a good thing because this is where the magnet of the cap sits when it's capped. Constant capping and uncapping would cause any plating to flake off eventually. And we see the number six size Bach steel medium nib and black plastic feed. The nib and feed are part of a nib assembly that unscrews for replacement or maintenance. Let's get a closer look at this nib. The radiating lines actually spell out the name Peniter right there on the edge and the mirror image on the other side. And the nib size M here 
is surrounded with an angular flower motif and there's no breather hole. The cap posts deeply and securely, although it does tend to make the pen a little long and does offset the balance backwards. Unposted, the pen is plenty long enough to write with comfortably and that's how I prefer to write with it. One note of warning, however, and this happened to me a couple of times. Don't post the pen with the blind cap in the unlocked position. The cap will stick on the end of that blind cap and not allow you to get it off without withdrawing the piston rod. Of course, this means you have to empty the pen because pushing the rod back in will expel all the ink. It also left a good size nick right there on the blind cap and corresponding scratches in my barrel. I bought this pen from Applebaum for $175 US after getting 15% off by simply adding a review of a previous purchase. You can get 10% off your purchase at Applebaum by entering the code FRIEND, F-R-I-E-N-D, during checkout. Then once you receive your purchase, just leave a comment on the website and Applebaum will send you your 15% off code. It's easy. The Peniter Avatar UR Triple T is available in five colors, blue, green, red, black, and clear, with three nib sizes, extra fine, fine, and medium. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Peniter Avatar Twin Tank Touchdown with a Pilot Custom 74, a Narwhal Original Plus vacuum filler, a Pen BBS 456 vacuum filler, and an Asvine V126. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You can see that the Pen BBS 456 and the Asvine V126 are the best posters in the group. The Narwhal doesn't really post well at all. It's sitting on that blind cap. And the Pilot has a 14 karat gold nib where the others are steel. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine, 90 GSM paper. And this is the Peniter Avatar UR Triple T. And it has a number six size Bach steel nib that is marked medium. Let's check the wetness. It's nicely wet and it's very smooth with just a hint of feedback, which is perfect for me. And the ink is from Franklin Kristoff. Did I spell that right? Kristoff. Ah, there's no L. And there's an H. There we go. Christoph. See? I can spell. And it is Spanish blue. It's a wonderful shading blue ink that goes from teal to dark blue. I really love it. Thanks, Murray. As to line variation, well, you can push a little bit out of it, but this is a relatively stiff steel nib. And the line this nib makes is 0 0.5 millimeters, which makes it a Western fine or a Japanese medium. On my Richard Bender line width chart, which you can find linked in the description below. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing. And spell reverse first. I'm spelling challenge today. It actually reverse writes very nicely. It actually doesn't change the wetness or the thickness that much. A little bit thinner. And for some quick writing. Yeah, it has no difficulty keeping up. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, there's a lot 
to like about this pen. This pen has several innovations of Dante's creation. The unbreakable resin. No, I'm not going to hit mine with a hammer or run it over with a truck. I believe, Dante, that under regular conditions, you can expect your pen not to break if you drop it on the floor or accidentally step on it. This makes this pen an excellent everyday carry and traveler. The spring-loaded one-hand operation clip is great. There are other clips that work this well, like this Visconti Mythos, but oh yeah, Dante designed this one too, didn't he? The magnetic cap that closes in any orientation and seals the nib. This is quick, easy, and fun. Yeah, the Visconti has a magnetic cap, and yes, Dante designed the Visconti magnetic cap too. Vacuum fillers have been around for a long time, but this has the convenience of that spring-loaded bayonet blind cap that makes using the pen effortless. And this barrel will hold a whopping 2.7 milliliters of ink. With the shutoff valve, this makes this Avatar Touchdown a true traveler. So lots of things to recommend this pen. There are some things that concern me, however. The most severe is getting the cap stuck on the blind cap if you have the blind cap open. The workaround for this is to open the valve to fill the forward reservoir first, close it, post the pen, and then write. When you get low on ink, unpost the cap, open the valve, then close it again and repost. Or just don't write with it, post it, and you don't have a problem. That's what I do. It's a little long and back weighted anyway when it's posted. The next issue I've had is that some ink tends to leach out between the section and the barrel. This happened to me twice. I added some silicone grease to the section, but it still leached out. Then I added a more generous amount and that seems to have solved the issue. But I even got a little bit of ink on my fingers while filming this review. Next, I'm surprised that a German nib marked medium writes a 0.5 millimeter line which is closer to a Japanese medium than a Western style medium. And a 0.5 line is the best you can get with this model because there isn't anything thicker than a medium. The bottom line is that this is a fantastic fountain pen with lots of cool features and a great everyday writer and traveler. I'll be traveling east next month and will be taking this with me on flights. I might do some inky experiments with the cabin pressure and fountain pens. That could be fun and result in some pretty funny video. We'll see. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comments section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. For watching and that's all she wrote I made this